Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is about how many ultrasound scans are necessary during pregnancy. So let's start this video. Ultrasound scans are an integral part of prenatal care, providing valuable insights into the development and well-being of both the fetus and the mother. These non-invasive imaging tests use high-frequency sound waves to create visual representations of the baby and the reproductive organs. As expectant parents, it is normal to wonder how many ultrasound scans are required during the course of pregnancy. The first trimester. During the first trimester of pregnancy, an ultrasound scan is typically performed to confirm your pregnancy, determine the gestational age and check for the presence of baby's heartbeat. This initial scan known as a dating or viability scan is often conducted transvaginally for greater accuracy. It helps establish a baseline for future scans and ensures the pregnancy is progressing as expected. In most cases, one ultrasound scan during the first trimester is sufficient. The second trimester. The second trimester is a crucial period for fetal growth and development. It is during this time that a detailed anatomy scan, also known as anomaly scan or level 2 ultrasound is performed. This comprehensive scan examines your baby's organs, limbs, spine, brain and other structures to detect any potential abnormalities. It also provides an opportunity for parents to discover the gender of their baby if they wish to know. The anomaly scan is typically conducted between 18 and 22 weeks of pregnancy and is considered a routine examination for most expectant mothers. In certain situations, additional ultrasounds may be recommended during the second trimester. For instance, if there are specific concerns or risk factors such as a history of pregnancy complications or maternal health conditions, the healthcare provider may advise additional scans to closely monitor the baby's growth and well-being. The third trimester the third trimester generally involves fewer ultrasound scans unless there are specific medical reasons. Towards the end of your pregnancy, a growth scan may be performed to assess your baby's size and position. This scan helps determine if your baby is growing adequately and if there are any signs of complications such as poor placental function or abnormal amniotic fluid levels. In some cases, a healthcare provider may recommend additional scans during the third trimester to evaluate certain conditions such as gestational diabetes, preeclampsia or decreased fetal movement. These additional scans are performed based on medical necessity and may not be required for all pregnancies. Now let's talk about the factors which influence the number of ultrasound scans. Several factors influence the number of ultrasound scans required during pregnancy. These factors include maternal age, advanced maternal age, typically 35 years and older, may increase the likelihood of recommended additional scans to assess the risk associated with older pregnancies. Medical history. Previous pregnancy complications such as preterm birth or fetal abnormalities may prompt the need for additional scans to monitor the current pregnancy closely. Underlying medical conditions. If the expectant mother has certain medical conditions, for example, diabetes, high blood pressure or kidney disease, additional scans may be necessary to evaluate the impact on the baby's growth and development. Multiple pregnancy. 
In the case of twins, triplets or higher order multiples, more frequent ultrasound scans are often recommended to monitor each baby's growth and ensure their well-being. Suspected problems. If there are concerns about the baby's growth, amniotic fluid levels or any other issues that arise during routine prenatal visits, additional scans may be conducted to investigate and manage the situation accordingly. The number of ultrasound scans required during pregnancy can vary depending on several factors including the trimester, maternal age, medical history and any specific concerns. In general, a dating scan in the first trimester and an anomaly scan in the second trimester are routine practices. However, additional scans may be recommended based on individual circumstances and medical necessity. It is essential to trust your healthcare provider's expertise and follow their recommendations regarding the timing and frequency of ultrasound scans to ensure the well-being of both mother and baby throughout the pregnancy journey. So that's all about today's video. If you have any questions regarding this topic, you can ask them on the comment section. To know more on this topic, you can click on the link given in the video's description box. Visit our website www.motherbabycare.in and also like our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash motherbabycare.in. Like, share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel Mother Baby Care. Thanks for watching this video.